What's good, everybody? As you can probably tell by the stats and all this other stuff and the base stat total, this is not your average run-of-the-mill ROM hack. Every Pokemon has been buffed pretty extensively. The overall power levels are far, are far higher, and there is a new tier of Pokemon that I call semi-pseudos, which are 575 base stat total Pokemon. Uh, base stat total is pretty arbitrary. Every Pokemon in this hack is incredible with or without the base stat total of 575 or higher. It doesn't you know, stats aren't everything anymore. Abilities and moves are really important. Um, and every Pokemon is balanced to have two viable abilities that they can switch between with an infinite use ability capsule and a buffed and changed 600 plus moves. And you can check all those out in the description below on that Google Sheet. I highly recommend you do that before you watch any of my other videos. Uh, reason being, I don't have time to get into every single move buff and change in every video. And those are really important to understand how the Pokemon function now. Uh, but as for Tyrantrum, there are other two stage 575 based on total Pokemon. Uh, and in vanilla games, this the fossils already don't share base stat totals, so I figured why not make the Kalos fossils uh, 575 base stat total semi pseudos. I think it fits them really well. They're these giant, you know, dinosaurs, uh, and they're just really fucking cool Pokemon, and I think that they deserve the stats. Um, and I think that the high stats also make a lot of sense. Um, Pokemon with you know, 140, 150 attacking stats is nothing uh, extraordinary in this hack, not to mention attacking stats aren't everything. Boosting abilities and moves uh, and the base power of moves and other stuff is going to make uh, a much bigger difference than the raw base stats will in the most cases. Uh, in a Tyrantrum's case, the only other rock dragon type is Rampardos. Uh, Rampardos is actually much stronger than Tyrantrum. Its base attack is only 145 now. I can't believe I just said only, but in, com in comparison to Tyrantrum. Um, and he has less, def uh, less defense and less HP. Um, I made it so that Tyrantrum and Aurorus both have the same HP stat of 123, just because they're like these giant tank, uh, you know, hulking dinosaurs, and I like to base HP a lot more on size in this hack. Um, but as for Rampardos, it is much stronger because of the ability Hustle and also Headstrong, which prevents recoil, letting it use higher base power moves with, uh, you know, without having drawbacks. While Tyrantrum is is uh, is using Strong Jaw, which only boosts covers moves except for Jagged Fangs. Coming off a of 151 base attack, though. Those are not a laughing matter, especially Jagged Fangs, which uh, becomes 128 base power, stab move, zero drawbacks. Uh, Stone Edge is 120 base power overall, it's 80 base power, but it always crits, and it's 90% accurate, so that's your, and that's late in the game, it's very late on. Uh, you have Rock Climb, which is 110 base power and deals recoil, same as Dragon Hammer. Uh, you have Head Smash, which is 150 base power, uh, works like close combat, and it also deals recoil, while Rock Wrecker um, is even, is, is really strong. Same power as Head Smash, but uh, it drops your attack stat by two instead, which is really cool, especially with Intimidate. Uh, speaking of, yes, you have two great abilities, Strong Draw and Intimidate, perfectly fitting abilities for Tyrantrum, absolutely beautiful in terms of like the flavor of what he is. I mean, he's this gigantic T-Rex, um, hence why I gave him that huge 151 base attack, similar to something like Golurk, you know, just because they're these giant imposing Pokemon. And I think that's really cool. Um, again, nothing broken overpowered at all. I mean, his, his Bidef is still pretty bad, but uh, with that giant HP set, it does help a lot. Um, especially if you're like an Assault Vest or certain boss fights, you can tank special hits pretty well. And your speed stat is relatively lackluster. That's another thing that Rampardos has over Tan Tyrantrum. Uh, so essentially Rampardos with Hustle was much stronger. It has a very good Hustle move pool. It has lots of priority moves that won't miss with Hustle and all this other good stuff that you can check out in that video. Or I would honestly just recommend checking out the Google Sheet and looking at them on there. Uh, but yeah, Tyrantrum is uh, stronger, sorry, weaker than Rampardos overall. Uh, and it's also slower, but it's much bulkier. Uh, so that's the main pro of Tyrantrum. Not to mention, in terms of raw at base attack, yes, it is stronger than Rampardos if you are running headstrong, for example. Uh, yeah, you'll be dealing a little bit more damage, but you're slower and you're taking recoil, so it's not ideal. Although you can use Shell Bell, which heals by 20% now, so you can use Shell Bell with Dragon Hammer and Rock Climb and take 0% recoil, as well as Play Rough and Wild Charge, um, which all deal 20% recoil, so those are all great with Shell Bell. And then uh, moves like Head Smash will deal only 10% recoil overall with um, with uh, Shell Bell. So that's awesome. But yeah, Fang-wise, you have Jagged Fangs for Stab upon Evolution. And then you have Crunch and Psychic Fangs, which also become 128 base power coverage moves. And then you have Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Poison Fang, which all become 112 base power coverage moves. Uh, and the beautiful part about having all those Fangs via TM is that you can cycle between them. The only ones that you have... I mean, Jagged Fangs, you should never delete that. There's never, ever going to be a reason to delete Jagged Fangs, because keep in mind, the move lander isn't until the end of the game. So you do have to be careful with juggling your moves around. That's part of the challenge of the hack is, you know, every Pokemon gets incredible moves, but you got to be smart with when you teach them because otherwise um you know you're going to miss out on a level up move that you can't get back otherwise so you got to keep the level up moves carefully and then cycle between your tms and tutors when needed and of course the moves you run will depend on your evs sorry your uh, your ivs your nature 
your other teammates, the point in the game you're at, and all types of other stuff. Your personal preferences, you know, you can run a great, uh, an incredible utility set on Tyrantrum. Like I said, every Pokemon is designed to do several different things, not just one thing. In Tyrantrum, and of course Tyrant by proxy, have Intimidate, which is a great utility ability and a hack where things are really strong. It's nice to be able to switch in and, you know, neuter something's attack. You also have Parting Shot. You have, I mean, dude, 123, 119 bulk with Intimidate is like... Oh, you're, you're absolutely swallowing even super effective uh, f uh, physical attacks. Keep in mind, though, that there's a lot of 100% crit rate moves in this hack that will crit right through your uh, Intimidate drops. So that's something you need to keep in mind, especially on Ruthless Pokemon. Those mons will uh, ignore Intimidate, which makes Intimidate a lot more balanced overall. That's why I like it um, on a lot of Pokemon, because it's still a great defensive tool, but it's not. It's slightly less overbearing than it could be otherwise. Um, you have Sediment for Reliable Recovery, Glare, which drops attack and special attack, as well as Paralyzing, Breaking Swipe, which drops attack and special attack, uh, and it's also pretty damn strong at 70 base power, so would move. You have Accelerock and Draco Jet for priority, you've got Parting Shot with Intimidate, like I said, you've got that Reliable Healing move, it's got everything it could ever want, Roar, Battle Cry later on, Battle Cry drops the attack and special attack by two. Uh, this hack is not all about offense, it's all balanced during in-game, it's not competitive play, so when you get a stat drop on the opponent, they're probably not going to switch out unless they have a switch move, so that drop is permanent, so stat drops are super important. Uh, you're definitely going to want to take advantage of Intimidate a lot of the time. I would say, honestly, because of how strong you are in general, Strong Jaw is overkill for a decent amount of fights, and probably Intimidate will be used at least two-thirds of the time, is my guess, um, if you're being optimal with the way you play. But, you know, uh, Strong Jaw, especially with Jagged Fangs, is still really great. Um, and also means that you don't have to run as much attack investment to knock something out, and then you can run more bulk or more speed or whatever. Um, Choice Scarf Jagged Fangs in-game would be pretty great plus the other fangs. Um, so, you know, you could take, take advantage of that. You also have Dragon Dance for late in the game. There, that's the last TM you get, so you only have that for, like, the latter half of Pony Island. But you need to keep in mind that setup moves in general were heavily nerfed in this hack, uh, both PP-wise and in terms of just how viable they are because of the way that the AI is going to work now and all these moves that they're going to have to counter setup moves. Uh, stuff like Priority Heart Swap, Roar, and Roar, in this case, which Tarantrum also gets. Keep in mind, only has 3PP. I'm not crazy. I'm not going to give... 10 PP, you know, priority roar and just let you set up stealth rocks. And yeah, it wouldn't even be that good, actually, but, it, you know, 3 PP is pretty reasonable. Uh, and the AI will use that against you to, you know, switch you out if you're trying to get a setup sweep going. Not to mention there's tons of other stuff like unaware Pokemon and strong priority moves and crit moves that bypass through bulk up boosts or whatever. So in general, setup is not the most valid option, but it's still a decent option for certain boss fights if you're smart about it and you're smart about the specific moves you teach and when you click them. Uh, Rock Polish, I would argue, is even better than Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is good, but it's kind of overkill. Rock Polish gives you plus two speed and plus one accuracy, so you can use inaccurate moves later game like Stone Edge, Power Whip, and Megaton Kick um, and not miss those. So that's pretty great. But in general, Darren Jones the GOAT. Uh, like I said, you can't look at these buffs in a vacuum. So if this is, if this is, holy crap. If this is your first impression, pun unintended, of my hack, don't let it you know, make you think that every single Pokemon has crazy sky high stats like this. Um, stats are not everything in this hack. Moves and abilities are really important, and Tyrantrum is really happy to have these great stats, of course, but, I mean, the spin F is still pretty low, speed is still pretty low. Relatively speaking, of course, that speed stat is actually really great for a bulky Pokemon that can run Scarf and priority moves and stuff, but that's nothing special. Every Pokemon in this hack gets priority. Point being, though, uh, Tyrantrum, very, very unique, very, very fitting. I mean, just look at the GOAT. Like, he deserves stats like this, you know? Uh, and like I said, Rampardos is the only other Rock Dragon type, and they are not outclassed whatsoever by Tyrantrum. Um, they both do different things. Tyrantrum is much bulkier and has much more utility, while Rampardos is just much more Ungabunga, you know, with higher speed and uh, effectively, like, 220-plus base attack with Hustle. So, yeah. Um, I'll be back for more Kalos buffs and changes coming up. I'll be back for Aurora's coming up super soon. So uh, thank you so much for listening. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Make sure you check out that Google Sheet in the description. And I appreciate you listening. Peace, everybody.